In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use an ESP32 to read the magnet sensor over Wi-Fi. First, let's talk about the component and the wiring real quick. So I have an ESP32 and this is my magnet sensor. It's connected to pin D4 and the other side is connected to ground via this cable so this cable is connected to ground and then here on the breadboard to ground to the magnet sensor to d4 so really simple here then i'm using the onboard led to read and display the status and let me show you this really quick here so when a magnet is closed my led turns off and when the magnet is far the led turns back on in addition to the led displaying the reading obviously by the way you can use a different led connected to a different pin or you can use a buzzer if you're using this as like a door alarm or like a window open close sensor uh, there are so many use cases for it uh, but in addition to the led by the way i have the web page hosted on the sp32 and the web page can be accessed over wi-fi let's say using your phone or pc and that can show you the status of the reading. So next, I'm gonna take you to show you that page and how you can access it. In addition to that, I'm gonna give you the code. Now let me show you this page that is hosted on the ESP32 board and which is connected to the same Wi-Fi as my PC. So you can see here, I'm using the local IP address to access this page and Obviously, yours will be different, depend on the IP address for your ESP32. And if you want to access this from an external network, you would have to do port forwarding. That's probably a discussion for another video. Let me know if you're interested, and I will do that. But if you really want to Google it, just Google port forwarding, really simple. Now let me show you how it works. So I named it as like a door sensor. So the door status is now open, as you can see. And this page refreshes itself every five seconds. I did a small interval so I can demo this for the video, but it, you can adjust this obviously as needed. Now I'm going to get the magnet closed and you can see my LED turned off and now the status is closed. So it's gonna refresh every five seconds and you probably wanna increase that because that is too frequent. But again, I just wanted to show it over the video and I don't want the video to get too long. Now let me go ahead and remove the magnet and you can see the status change uh, right away or I mean within the five seconds of a refresh cycle so this is working as expected now let's go ahead and take a look at the code the last thing I have for you here is the code so let me go over uh, the code really quick these are just the libraries here is the Wi-Fi username and password obviously you will enter yours uh, I will leave a link into my github repository if you would just want to copy and paste these are the pins. So if you want to change the sensor pin or the LED pin, I'm using uh, pin four and two. Uh, you do want to declare, uh, let me see. Yep, they're right here. So you do want to declare these pins as an input for the sensor and then output for the LED. Uh, this is just for the serial monitor over here. You don't really need that. If you, wanna, if you don't want to use the, seri the serial monitor, that's fine. Um, let's go ahead and what I want to show you is I'm going to scroll down real quick. I want to show you the page. This is the page that is the HTML page that we are designing to show the status. And it's really simple design. Obviously you can add colors. You can make it more beautiful if you want, but I like to keep my code as simple as possible. Um, I usually, uh, it's easier for you to modify if you want to. Now, another thing I want to show you here is the delay. I have this uh, refresh itself every five seconds. You can adjust this here. So you have 5,000 milliseconds, but you can adjust this as needed. I just needed a short period so I can demo this for the YouTube video. Uh, over here is the status. By the way, we are initiating the status up here. Let me show you that real quick. So we are starting with an unknown door status. And over here, based on the sensor reading, we are setting it to be closed or open based on that sensor value that we're reading from 
the magnet sensor. Again, I'm not gonna read every piece of it. I think it makes sense. It's very clear and simple. I will leave a link in the description to my GitHub repository if you just wanna copy and paste. Uh, this is it for this video. Let me know what you think in the comments if you have any questions and let me know what you wanna see. If this was helpful, please consider like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.